God can cause a supernatural turnaround of your financial situation. 2 Kings chapter 4 verses 1 through 7 A certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets cried out to Elisha saying, Your servant, my husband, is dead. And you know that your servant feared the Lord. And the creditor is coming to take my two sons to be his slaves. So Elisha said to her, What shall I do for you? Tell me, what do you have in the house? And she said, Your maidservant has nothing in the house but a jar of oil. Then he said, Go borrow vessels from everywhere, from all your neighbors, empty vessels. Do not gather just a few. And when you come in, you shut the door behind you and your sons, then pour it into all those vessels and set aside the full ones. So she went from him, shut the door behind her and her sons who brought the vessels to her and she poured it out. And it came to pass when the vessels were full that she said to her son, Bring me another vessel. And he said to her, There is not another vessel. So the oil ceased. Then she came and told the man of God and he said, Go sell the oil, pay your debt, and you and your sons live on the rest. Our God is a God of supernatural turnaround. He can intervene in our life situations and turn things around by His supernatural, miraculous power. And this week, we are believing God for turnaround in life situations. We read today about a widow woman who's, uh, you know, who was left in, in great debt. Uh, the creditors were on their way to take her two sons away as slaves. But the man of God, God intervenes through the man of God in her life situation, taking just what she had, a jar of oil, and causing a miracle to take place so that all her debts were cancelled and she had a supply of finances that would take care of her and her two sons for the rest of their lives. Now, if that's not a miracle, what is? God is a God of miracles. And just like he did that miracle in Bible times, God can do financial miracles in our day, in our time. You are his son and his daughter. He's the God of covenant. We are covenant people. And he, because of his covenant with us and because of his care and love for us, will intervene in our life situations and cause financial miracles. Don't be afraid and don't be ashamed or don't be hesitant to go to God and say, God, I need a breakthrough. I need a miracle in my finances so that my debts can be cleared, that I can have sufficient and enough and more for myself, for my family, and to bless your kingdom with. As we pray today, I want you, if that's your position, your situation in life, I want you to ask God and believe God for a financial turnaround. And I believe God will do it. God is no respecter of persons. What he did for people in the Bible, He's more than ready to do it today, in our day, in our time, in ways that we can relate to, He will do it. He will take what you have and through whatever you have, He will cause about a miraculous supply, an abundant supply to turn things around financially. Let's believe God for a supernatural turnaround in our finances. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. You are a are the God of miracles. And just as you intervened in this widow woman's life, intervene in the life of everyone listening. And God cause a turnaround in our finances so that our debts are paid off. And God, that there'll be more than enough for us to do the things you've called us to do, to take care of our responsibilities and to bless the work of your kingdom with. Do such miracles, Father. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.